All right, so I figured I'd make a video because uh, it's maybe the quickest and easiest way of, sort of taking multiple screenshots and trying to explain every step in type. So we got view scan open. Options have to be in professional because that will give you uh, the extended uh, menu options. Mode, transparency, media, color negative. I'm just gonna focus really uh, quickly on like the parts that are relevant to scanning a file rather than scanning um, negatives. Which is, it's basically the same thing, a little different. Uh, my setup, you want to make sure most of this is unchecked. Um, auto save the scan. We're not going to be scanning it first, we're going to be previewing it. Um, get your default outputs set, go to output. Uh, I usually these days I'm mostly exporting just to JPEG. I'm finding that those are really easy to work with. Uh, they're lightweight and they... If I'm going to be printing or printing large, I might do TIFF. Uh, or if I'm scanning something really important, TIFF. But otherwise, JPEG is mostly fine. Um, and it gives you, depending on the resolution you scan, it gives you a lot of uh, working, working room. Have your uh, outputs. Um, so yeah, here are the panels. Uh, filter panel, uh, leave all these unchecked. I find that um, there are attempts to reduce dust or sharpen or restore colors. This is, it, it might work for some people, but I, I find it to be intrusive. I like to do all that stuff manually. Um, crop, we're gonna leave multi-crop off because we're only doing, um, leave all this, all this blank. Uh, crop size manual, uh, lock aspect ratio off, color, um, this we will all be changing eventually anyway, so leave that color balance manual, uh, white point, all this is going to change after we do the preview, so it really doesn't matter, leave all that, leave all that, leave all that, leave all that. Uh, brightness I usually usually works anywhere from like 0.5 up to point 1.06 is kind of mostly the ideal but depending on the shot you might need to go really high you might need to go really low and then adjust the white point to introduce contrast or uh, subsequently uh, color saturation so let's go generic color negative um, there are different profiles. I find that generic color negative is really good. Um, so go to preview, preview it. This will come up showing uh, what appears to be an upside down file. So we're going to flip that. Um, so here's where it gets interesting. When you change the crop size, which you can do, it will automatically recalculate for that section so you can get a dramatically different wait for it, wait for it anyway that didn't change anything but it can so let's just go to the edge of the frame I'm working with a terrible computer so it's going to take some time uh, drag this down, edge of frame great so, we got our preview. Best thing about ViewScan is you can right click and that will change the balance of the colors. Right click, a bunch of random places, something that might be white neutral. We're in the color panel, change the white point because that's going to bring back contrast. A little too much contrast, we might want to go down to brightness raise that up so we have some shadow detail but lower the white point again and you can play with tone curves I like to start if you're not seeing this go into uh, view you can graph different things I like to graph the curve so you can bend this different ways depending on the shot. I did not take this shot, so I don't know what the intended 
vibe was or what the intended colors were. Uh, but as a starting point, if you get something like in his his face right here, there's like it almost looks like it could be blue, and you might want to bend the low end down some. Uh, if it's a very high contrast scene, you want to get it to like the shadow. The low end curves are up, depending, and then you can change brightness down white point up maybe this should be where the white is bluish uh, and you the output file what's great is you can get more or less neutral and then you can adjust the color balance more in Lightroom or whatever you're using where did we have it before that was okay um, and this is what this is changing when you right click is these things the neutral if you're doing a roll, it's a good idea. Uh, I found to. What about that crosswalk guy? Yeah, that's probably that's probably about it. Still seems kind of blue. Uh, so yeah, you can after you right click, you can manually mess with these to kind of tweak it more. Um, I'm gonna say that. right around there and we'll take the white point down if you take it all the way down it gets really super flat so I usually like to keep it 0.08 ish um, and now the whole scene is kind of bright you can want to flatten this curve out I'm using this screen capture thing that is directly in the way so uh, take the brightness down again. Wait point up because it's a little too far. I feel like that where his shirt is should be really popping out. Um, maybe almost even blown. Um, so you can play with the curves, blah blah blah. This uh, appears to be West 47th Street in New York City. Totally irrelevant to this video. Uh, so, okay, almost done. Brightness may be down a little bit. Again, play with these things up and down. Uh, so you don't want to like lose all the shadow detail like on her face or whatever, but maybe that color you just want to be like blocked out. Um, somewhere in between. Um, I like to try to get it neutral, but not completely neutral. Uh, so if I'm going to go in, in post and like jack up the contrast more, whatever, I have that option. But when I was trying to scan things as neutrally as possible, I was finding that I wasn't getting the best results when I tried to post-process them. Because things like boosting the white balance can really dramatically affect the colors of a scene. Um, so like that billboard, you know, like the brightest areas, maybe you want them right on the cusp of like getting blown, and then like the blackest areas, somewhere on the cusp of not being back. So I'm gonna jack that low end up a little bit. All right, so then we go, scan. And that will, uh, when you scan, that sends the output file to wherever the destination is. And then we're done, that's that shot, and then you can go import it, do whatever uh, you want from there.